Mark Fixes Stuff. Hello everybody and welcome to Mark Fixes Stuff. And today we've got a very special guest, a longtime friend of the channel and a personal friend of mine, and her name is Lala. Say hello Lala. Hi. Now Lala has a very special role in this video today and it's a bit of a departure for the channel because we're actually reviewing a mobile phone. And we're not doing an unboxing or anything like that. In fact, if I'm completely candid, I did do an unboxing and as Lala knows, I lost the footage. And uh, yeah, it's just another symptom of the chaotic life that we all live here in Mark Fix's Stuff Towers. The phone we're reviewing is called the Blackview BV8800. It's waterproof, drop proof, dust proof. It runs on a MediaTek G96 processor. It's got an eight gigabyte ROM and 128 gigabytes of RAM, of which about 113 gigabytes are free for the user. The back cameras include a 50 megapixel, an eight megapixel and a 20 megapixel, and also a 0.3 megapixel camera. It's got quite a big 8380 milliamp hour battery and a 33 watt fast charge capacity. The 6.5 inch display has a lovely 90 Hertz refresh rate. Uh, it has a bit of a weird OS. It's Doak OS 3.0, which is a fork based on Android 11. So this phone has been through hell. It was my go-to phone when I was going through the refurbishment of the house. As you know, I'm a bit of an Apple fanboy, so I really didn't want to bring my top-notch Apple gear into this smoky, smelly, damp environment. And it served me well. But it did come to a point when I didn't need it anymore. As you can see, we're pretty much finished here. So I thought we'd give it the stress test to end all stress tests. Now, Lala has got a machine at home which can break almost anything. And uh, what's the name of that machine, Lala? David. And uh, how old is David? Just three. Just three. So yes, ladies and gentlemen, the most destructive force on the face of the planet, a toddler. Now, do you want to tell me some of the things that David has managed to break? His iPad, his brother's iPad, my phone, my other phone. This is my phone, which we were in denial about the back of. It was not allowed on the pram, so he launched it off the pram and it landed wrong. As in on the floor? Yes. It's not a surprise really though that David has such supernatural destructive capabilities though, is it Lala? No. And where does he get those destructive capabilities from Lala? <laughs> from me. <laughs> But I've not smashed anything in their house yet. Oh no, actually I have, I smashed a vase. And what about the wall? And the time David decided that the coffee blank belonged on the wall and they now have a lovely coffee stain up their wall. I'm pretending it's art. Anyway, moving back onto the BVM 8800. This is an unboxing. What this has been is a nine month stress test. So what has this phone been through? Because when I finished with it and gave it to you, it looked pretty much showroom condition, it, would you it agree? It even still had the fancy cover on it. Um, I think viewers are quite, um, quite familiar with my, um, my anal retentiveness at this point. It doesn't have the fancy cover on it, on it anymore. It's not broken though. No. And what's some of the things that have happened to this phone? Um, it's been dropped a lot, including in the woodlands, when I had David on my shoulders and was running through the woods. One of the youngsters that was behind me thankfully found it and gave it back to me. Oh, so it was lost? It was, it was <laughs> dropped and lost. <laughs> but it survived and it's been dropped multiple times. It's been launched out of my hand because it's quite heavy and it just goes vroom. Um, I slammed it in my car door once. It's not broken. That is pretty impressive. Um, and what about the... Um, waterproofing features yes. been in the rain so or? it's been in the rain a few times um my children have gracefully launched it into the bathtub when i decided oh. to put it on the side of the tub while running the bath it's been found in the bathroom sink a few times and um, do you do you actually give this to the kids to sometimes okay if they don't have their ipads and they want to watch a video um they're allowed to borrow it to watch youtube so when you give it to them is that out of confidence or bravery i'm a mum and i don't want them to yell at me 
<laughs> Some parenting techniques actually do stand the test of time. Aside from its capability for taking damage, what did you like about it? What didn't you like about it? So I like the fingerprint unlocking thing. Um, and that it has loads of memory, loads. You can download everything. Um, and it's pretty much like my old Samsung, which I think was actually an 11. The last one I had was a 12, which broke faster than that one. Yeah, it's pretty much like having a Samsung. Or oh, my friend has a Samsung A something, and it's almost exactly like that one with the software. But this one does everything you need to on a basic level and you can still do picture in picture, although that only seems to work for Prime because Disney's being a poo and Netflix, you have to download from Chrome, not through the Google Play Store. Right, and that's probably because of that forked Doke 3.0 OS. Yeah, I've heard um, some reports, now I never used it for streaming. Um, I've had some reports that you can't stream more than 480p, you can't stream HD, is that? your experience or has that been fixed with an update because I don't think that's right obviously we won't show you this because of copyright issues but it doesn't seem to have anything on that's there definitely about. not 480p yeah, yeah that's that's like how it would be on my other phone okay for me that would have been one of the weak points and because no, I hadn't tried it myself really I wanted clear. to yeah I wanted to come back and um, ask yourself because you did mention streaming with the kids yes the camera I don't like as much though it doesn't like to focus either. Right, okay. So I really struggle to wear on, on the Samsung or the iPhone, you can just click someone's face and it focuses on them. This one seems to struggle with that. It takes a while and it doesn't stay in focus either. Selfie camera's definitely not my favorite. It's not half as flattering. Uh, but that might be the, <laughs> uh, the Samsung software on top that has all Maybe, kinds of yeah. special filters and things. You know, that's a pretty good overview of your experience with the phone. Um, when this phone launched, it was about £220 if you bought it direct from their website. And depending on where you got it, you could get it discounted or, or slightly higher price. And they've got a new version out, which does 5G. Um, and really, I'm not sure what else they've updated, but I'll, I suppose it just falls to me to ask, you know, overall, taking into account the price of the phone, what would you say your overall opinion is? Oh, this is a bargain. It pretty much does everything my other phone does at a good fraction of the price. So. Yeah. so it's probably a good budget thing. Yeah. And for people like me who've been working in mucky environments, maybe you're, you know, a, a bricklayer or a chippy or you're prone to dropping things, then it could be a good option. So, you know, it's not it's not a Lamborghini. It's more of a, you know, a battered Land Rover now. <laughs> So that's a really good overview. I mean, you've tested it to limits that I never could. Um, when I was using it, it was quite a limited use case. I didn't even drop it, um, but you've tried to smash it to a million pieces. And um, I'd like to thank you very much for your due diligence in that case. And thanks to <laughs> little David as well. Um, and it just sort of remains to me to say, thanks for coming in, Lala. I hope you'll come on the channel again when I've got something else that I need you to test the destruction. And this is me, Mark from Mark Fixes Stuff, signing out, reminding you to subscribe to get your fix. Thanks, Lola. See you all later. Bye.